Thank you for joining us here at Mop Pop Fishing. This week, I got an opportunity to interview one of our newest vendors, Aaron. He's the owner of Aaron's Custom Tying. It's a company up there in Wisconsin, so they do a lot of ice fishing, uh, different type of species of open water. So you're definitely going to want to check out our website at Mop Pop Fishing for all the different type of lures that he's actually custom designed for us. Um, other than that, here's Aaron. Right now, I'd like, like to welcome Aaron from Aaron Custom Tying. Uh, he's actually a new vendor here with uh, Mop Pop Fishing. So uh, just getting the opportunity to kind of get to know you. I've I known you briefly, but I, w I wanted to get to know you a little bit more, man. So so tell me this. I know I know you're, you're in your early 20s, but I always ask mm -hmm. the first question is, well, what's your favorite type of beer? But I also want to know what's your favorite food. So let's kind of change it up a little bit. What's your favorite food and favorite beer? I'll keep it simple. Coors Light and spaghetti. Sounds like a good night here, right? <laughs> wow, that you know what? I just had spaghetti today. That's awesome. Did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, I just had uh, dinner with my daughter, so uh, that that's actually one of their favorite foods, so spaghetti. But but Coors Light, huh? I, I love that. Uh, Coors Light. Like simplicity i guess you could say so it's reliable it's always good right there you go once i get up there i'm gonna, I'm gonna go up there because uh, I, I do want to ice fish up there uh in yep. your neck, neck of the woods so i definitely want to get a, a, a chance to travel up there and do some ice fishing and i'll, I'll pound some cores light with you if you don't mind man. <laughs> sounds good <laughs> all right uh, so tell me a little bit about about yourself aaron i mean how, how'd you get into the the custom tying industry the business of custom fishing tying how did you get into it yeah so i guess i was in fleet farm one day just shopping for lures like every fisherman does and i just looked down and i saw a fly fishing kit like everything you need to tie flies I'm like okay i'm kind of curious about that so i picked it up went home started tying flies and stuff and got real into it i was, was kind of into trout fishing on the side and whatnot so i'm tying my own flies for that kind of figure out wow you can save a little money here they're kind of expensive in the store um and beyond that i just started tinkering with things um kind of making new patterns, maybe kind of bridging the gap to conventional fishing from fly fishing a bit, and just kind of w went that route a bit. Then I kind of saw a niche that there isn't really many unique baits on the market that I would be able to tie, given my previous knowledge of fly time or little knowledge of fly time at that, at that point. So I kind of started experimenting with that, started my page and just put some pictures up there, some experiments I did, and some people were interested, so it kind of just grew from there, I guess. Just cool. throwing things out there and just slowly going. Started with one pattern. Now I got, I don't know, twenty plus patterns. Nice, nice. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I mean, what what would you say is like the best part of owning your own, you know, custom fishing product business? What what would you say that, that brings you the most joy? I guess you could say. Just creating something new and catching on it. It's it, it's an addicting thing. Once you start tying your own lures and making your own stuff, you really can't go back to sword bought stuff. It just seems like you're cheating yourself, kind of. But just the experimentation is kind of cool. Um, I'm an engineer. I'm just finishing up engineering school this December, so I like creating new things and being innovative like that. Cool. I mean, I, I guess you can say because a lot of people don't understand the, um, I, I guess you can say the facade or, or of getting into, you know, custom fishing products. Mm -hmm. Can you explain a little bit, but what's the biggest difference between that and going to a big box store and just buying loot cheap lures or whatnot? Mm -hmm. So really you get what you pay for, I guess. You get uh, the customer service. So people will message me all the time. They have an idea for a random lure they had in their mind and I can make it happen for them. You're not going to get that from the big lure companies, obviously. And also the attention to detail I can do, because I can sit there and individually tie each one. I know when I'm putting out there, my name's attached to it, so I want to make sure everything I put out there is the best it can be. So that really drives you to quality. And so, yeah, the qu I think the quality, I think, yeah, I had a, a conversation with uh, one of my fishing kit that um, we do videos and podcasts together. And I think that's the biggest thing when it comes to the custom fishing industry is that mm -hmm. it's the quality. It's, it's it, not only is the blood and sweat tears behind the work, but I think it's the quality is the, the biggest pro, I guess you can say in regards mm -hmm. to that. Yeah. Now, since you started this, how has COVID affected you guys? You, in, in the sense, has have you seen an increase since you know the virus has happened in, in regards to demand? Has it affected it at all? It, it's hard to tell because my business, it, it seems to go in season so at the beginning of the ice fishing season i just start selling tons of ice jigs but later in the season it kind of tails off beginning of open water season start telling selling tons of those so they're kind of 
coincided kind of perfectly, I guess. So people are sitting at home, more time to get out fishing. And that's when they started buying lures is right before the season when things start getting warm. So as far as a business standpoint, nothing really changed for me, which I'm pretty fortunate about. And I'm all online, so you don't have to worry about retail stores or anything like that. Yeah, that's the same thing with Mom Pop Fishing. We're yeah. complete, completely online, and and it's. Um, I think you're right in regards to the fishing industry. I I haven't seen a, a, a yeah. in, in regards to that, which is I mean, because everybody's outside. I guess you're social mm-hmm. distancing, right? In a sense, so I mean, that's, that's right. A good, that's a good thing. Uh, where do you foresee the uh, future for custom fishing products? I mean, do you think it's going to grow? How do you feel mm-hmm. from just from just from your customer base and just your knowledge itself? Do you feel what do you think is going to be the future of custom product fishing? So I see it growing. Um, I guess if you look on fishing forums and anything like that, you see people talking all the time about, I got this custom lure from this guy, this custom color option from this company. So everyone's looking for that special little secret lure or something that would catch them more fish or they say will catch them more fish. So I think it's going to grow. And like I said before, that quality is really something that brings people back. Definitely. I, I agree with you. All right, man, that's enough business talk. Let's let's get to know your fishing alkaline, I guess you could say. Um, so what's the favorite species you love to target, man, up there? Yeah, I got to go with the smallmouth bass. Gotcha. So smallmouth bass is, a, is yeah. your favorite target fish. Do you have a, like a, a bucket list fish or anything like that? that you, you've never caught that you just like, you know what, one of these days I, I want to take a trip or, or whatever. What, what would that be? Absolutely. That's the muskie. I mean, the fish at 10,000 casts. One day it'll happen. One day I'll see one come up to my bass or something like that. But that's something I really want to get into. Start, start, get my 10,000 casts down. Maybe get one of those one day. Muskie fishing. I, that's, you know what? Yeah. I, I have to agree with you, man. I, I've never seen, caught one. Um, it'd be nice. I definitely agree. Is there any um, fish up there that, I mean, you you would say is your favorite type to eat or anything? I'm just no, for sure, crappie, I guess. They're easy to catch. A lot of meat in them. Really good fish, yeah. Yeah, right. You're my kind of man right there. I'm a crappie man because, yeah. you know, I, it, I, here, I, yeah, here in Iowa, I mean, we, uh, crappies, you know, it, come dime a dozen um mm-hmm. you know walleyes with catfish you know but to me i agree with you man i think something yeah. about that the crappie meat the sweetness the flakiness mm. is can't go wrong man can't beat it exactly up in your neck of the woods what would you say is the the most popular type of fish the the people target up there so i'm pretty close to the bay of green bay and that's the big walleye and perch spot more so walleye i mean they have tournaments out there all the time and whatnot so i think that's one of the biggest fish i guess biggest most popular fish in the area people come from all over to fish wisconsin or green bay walleye my daughters they always like to ask questions because i always give them uh, i always ask them hey i'm I'm interviewing a new vendor or or a new Mm -hmm. person for a podcast i always what question you want me to ask them i love i love throwing it in for them but uh, one of my daughters uh she asked have you ever eaten fish eyes fish eyes i've eaten cheeks before okay so i don't know if you know much about walleye but they have the cheeks right there that's the best part of the walleye Yep. Um, I, I did. Uh, yeah, I did a podcast on the uh, BFF or Beer Fish Fanatics, and okay. um, and I was saying, yep, people don't realize it, but that cheeks on the walleyes is probably the best part of that fish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's close to the eye, but not quite the eye. Gotcha. All right. And then my other daughter, uh, she just wants to know what was the funniest looking fish you've ever caught. I've caught some with old fins, but one of the funniest I've caught a smallmouth one time. But his whole top nose was kind of dented in, so his lip kind of stuck out. It kind of looked like he ran fast into a wall, kind of. Ah, so... It it is strange, but yeah. uh, That's unique. I don't think I've ever seen that. I wonder if you damaged it or something somehow. (laughs) Who knows, right? Something like that. Who knows? But he's living just fine. Gotcha. All right, so where do you... What's your goal for for Aaron's Custom Time? What's your goal for for your business, your company? I know uh, I'm really excited to have you on board with us at Mob Pop Fishing. Um, but I want to know what, what your goals are. Where do, where do you see yourselves or where do you want the business to be? So pretty much what we're doing right here is getting my baits on a online retail like mopopfishing.com. So just getting my baits to a wider breadth of people. Mainly I'm in the Midwest, but if I could reach all corners of the United States, maybe internationally, pretty cool. Cool, cool. So that's the uh, that's the goal, right? It's to get our names that's out and, and just let people know that we're here for them to, to help them catch fish. And I think that's the, at the end of the day. I mean, nothing beats having your, your, your pole tugging in a sense, right? That's right. That's right. There you go. So um, once again, like I said, I'd like to thank Aaron for, for joining us here. And hopefully everybody got a chance to, to get to know you a little bit better, man. Thank you.
there you go. So hopefully you learn a little bit about Aaron. Hopefully that gives you a little bit about all the, the type of custom lures that he actually designs. Make sure you check out our website, www.modpopfishing.com. That way you get an opportunity to see all the types of, you know, custom design work that he actually does for Mod Pop Fishing. Make sure you follow us on our Instagram. Follow us on our Facebook, Facebook group. I'll be doing some giveaways coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, that way you'll be able to know how to, to register and and enter for these these giveaways in a sense um, other than that i just want to say thank you for all the support that everybody has given my pop fishing just want to let everybody know all sales goes back to the the vendors i mean whether it's in inventory wise or just to help market them um, that's the whole point of having my pop fishing that's the whole point of my vision so uh, once again thank you so much for all those who, who've been purchasing all the lures and all the custom design products it definitely helps support them so especially during these times so other than that we'll see you next time stay tuned i'll be having more content in regards to vendors and product information thanks guys Thank you.